All right, so the fight is now underway. On one side, you have a fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. Going to be interesting to see how long he can keep it upright. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the office. And he landed the right hand there. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. And he oh, comes nice through with team. a big knee. Hook shot lands. Oh, big left. Powerful leg kick lands. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, straight right! All right, single collar tie now. Left hand punch in the clinch. And they separate. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Dig and kick. Wow, actually got the takedown. Under three minutes remain in round one. Now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. Look from the transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Then he's out. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Can't take many of those. You better check. Blocks the shot. Nice hook lands. Now goes in and secures the takedown. And really nice job to finish the takedown there. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Nicely done. Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. Watch triangle, watch triangle. And he's out. Close guard. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Nice connection with the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He never looked this good. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You got to start digging your shoulder to a side and then trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai punch. All 
right, he engages in the single collar tie. Landed that left hook. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. fire with a punch of his own, so they have got the timing down. Strike the lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish the fight. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you got the Anderson Silva situation. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good tonight. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Misses with that punch. Oh, straight right. Oh, he hurt. Oh. Deuce hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Forward. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Well, he's always on the counter. Oh, oh. That's as good a punch as he's thrown all night. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the one that land perfect, and that one landed perfect. Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high level grappler. You don't see oh, that very often. Making for a ride. Nice double leg, nice finish. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. A lot of different looks. He switches to southpaw now. Just misses there with the left. Good punch. Nice one, two there. Ooh. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. CM Punk's back in full mouth. 
Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. And he's back up again, so the takedowns have been there, as have the get-ups. Fifteen seconds. CM Punk strike attempt there is blocked. Great timing for that move to take down. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. Working hard here against the fence. We'll see if he can get the takedown. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, huge knee to the head. Big knee to the body. All right, both fighters now continuing to try to get a more dominant position. That knee might have landed there. Oh, and there is another knee. Man, those are doing a lot of damage to his opponent here in this fight. I'd be crying to my Cheerios in the corner by now. Ow! And a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. Back to the feet now. Leg is hurt here, you can see that. It's not over, it's not over, keep moving. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body. Right off the gut. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. Nice kick. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, it fades upstairs and lands flush to the floor. If they land perfect, that is the reaction you're hoping to get. That one landed perfect in this fight. Maybe stop very soon. Nice one, two there. Well, safe to say he's not going to be going back to the hook. Oh! Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do, and when both fighters are trying to do the same thing, it's very, very difficult to get the desired result. CM Punk gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Just missed with the leg kick. Big kick lands. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes Let's right back to his face. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Real sneaky body kick. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did, because I have times where I've been kicked like that. I'll tell you one thing. It does not feel good. 
Nice strike. Pretty good right hand. Immediately gets the underhook. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, that was a really nice takedown. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Submission defense there. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than him half guard. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand-up, get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. But get to your hands, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free-flowing than a half guard in the side control, because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free, so you have more freedom to use yours. Looks like the official decision is in. Yes, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 30 26. Declare the winner by unanimous decision, CM Pong! <laughs>